Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Jennifer, also known as Happy Place Planning. I'm glad you stopped by and I hope you enjoy today's video. So let's just look back at the current week in my weekly Erin Condren Life Planner. I do use the hourly. Um, Monday's video was a plan with me on this week spread and then Wednesday's video was prepping my monthly pages. And today we're gonna jump into the details and look at daily planning. We are going to be planning in the daily duo. This current week here, um, I've just been using like a hodgepodge of stickers, no kits, nothing that really necessarily comes together as a set. Just using up some of my random stickers and I really like how that's been turning out. But for this week and that is the week of, I think it's August 1st through 7th. Yes, we are going to be using Planner Cake Kit 435 for the seven by nine daily duo. So that includes this dashboard page or we get a glance, however you wanna say that. I have that prepped and I will be using these headers and the brush stroke dates. All right, let's jump into this page here you can either use this blank page well one for whatever you want to um, but some people use it for the previous week so if you put um, your week at a glance here it would actually be for Monday the 25th through Sunday the 31st I prefer to have my week at a glance first and then my weekdays to follow so this notes page will be for the week of August 1st. Let's talk about the um, Daily Duo Week at a Glance from Planner Kate. She offers these in just like basic colors, her Planner Kate colors, if you wanted a solid option. She also offers this for all of the kits. So you can see the pattern of the kit up here on the week of, and then, you know, everything's gonna kind of match if you pick a kit which I have really been liking because then if I use the kit, I can then use all of the stickers in either planner and everything kind of matches, corresponds, and that just makes my planner heart happy. So I am going to be using this kit um, for the week in both of my planners, and then I can mix and match. Um, Kate did tell me a little trick here so if you get your header down first and you can either leave that strip on the planner showing or cover it up, do that first. And then these were designed for um, them to have just a little bit of space in between. So what you can do is put down this first side and you're gonna wanna line it up with the edge of that sticker. And then on the second side, you would line this up on the edge of the header on this side. And what that's gonna do is leave a little space right down the middle. So if you would put these touching, you're gonna not be lined up with the edge of the header. So I guess that's a personal preference, um, but that is how I like to do it, leaving the space down the middle with the edges being flush. I did prep this in advance. I have been using this as my content um, overview. So I do use an eight and a half by 11 monthly planner for all of my content stuff. And then each week I sit down, pull the main things that I need to get done, basically videos, blog work, Coco Daisy stuff, things I wanna track for content, get it all put down here and that way um, if I go to work, I can just grab my daily planner and I still have at least this week's worth of um, work and content stuff that I need to get done. Let's go ahead and jump into the actual daily pages. I'll show you a little peek here. Since I use the month view in my weekly planner for appointments, I've been really liking this crosshatch pattern from Planner Kate just an excuse really for me to use another monthly kit. And then I've been using the Wacky Holidays on here and I think it just looks super crisp and cute at the same time. All right, daily pages. I'm gonna go ahead and put the headers down for the week. I do like to do 
the two matching washi so that they're across from each other. Again, just a personal preference, but we'll do that real quick and get the brush headers down. Now this video would be super long if I planned out every single day. So for today's purposes and how the timing is working out, we are actually going to plan Wednesday, August 3rd. And I do have the other kit sheets that I've been using so far in my week view, and I'll probably end up using some of those for today. So one thing that I've really been liking is splitting this timed section into two columns, one for myself, one for my husband and son, and that just makes overlapping events a little bit easier to see in my mind. Um, this is eight centimeters across, so what I typically do is just mark at the four centimeter mark and then make a dashed line down the middle. And what that does is just leave two columns, but both of them are still wide enough to use your standard size stickers, which is nice which are about 1.5 inches wide. All right, let's start with my stuff first. I do have a work training to go to out of town on Wednesday, and I thought I would just mark that with one of these skinny washi, and I think, I don't wanna do the polka dot since that's this header also is a polka dot pattern. So I'll probably just use one of these skinny green. These are super thin and that will start at eight. And I anticipate it lasting throughout the day. And then we will get that labeled. Let's see what we have left. I have these basic labels. So we'll get that put down right here. And then during that, obviously I will be gone. So I will need someone to be with my son since school is not in session yet. I'm gonna use one of these dots to denote that I need to drop him off at his grandma's house for the day. And then this evening, we have a few things going on for my son. I'm gonna use these event labels. He does have Taekwondo at four o'clock. And then I wanted to use a half box. He is going to vacation Bible school with my mom tonight. And while he is there, I will be going to a small group at our personal local church and that starts at seven. And sometime in here, I do wanna stop at my office at work and just kind of get a um, plan for tomorrow because Thursday would be registration day and I don't wanna walk in to a mess. And then I wanna make sure I have 
all the little details planned. I don't know if you're like me, if you have children, um, but I'm just so used to doing everything myself. So pick up, drop off, all of that stuff. But I do need to remind my husband that he will have to be picking up our son um, for his evening activities because I anticipate being gone pretty much all day and then just home for just a little bit of time here. Next up, I'm going to put my daily habits here on this priority half box. I'm starting some new habits as we head into back to school season, which would be watering my plants on the patio and um, sticking with my 10 minute tidy. And I also want to do um, back to school bedtimes. I think that it helps. I know people have mixed feelings, but we need to get back to going to bed before 10 o'clock so that my little guy isn't super tired for the day when school starts and that routine hits. Let's talk about the to-do list. I think it would be cute to use this to-do sticker. I've been really enjoying um, the little dash labels. Oh, plan or fail. I didn't think about that not being um, too wide. So we're gonna skip that. Totally fine just to leave the to-do as is, or we could pick maybe a different script. For this um, bottom box, I do have these A5 size. I just prefer them over the seven by nine size because it leaves a little bit of white space, which I just prefer in my planner. So I do get the A5 of the bottom boxes for the Daily Duo, and I just wrote in um, a prayer about patience. Something I've been trying to work on, probably because um, just summer break, takes a lot of patience. I don't know about you guys with small kids, but my son, if we are not doing something, it's I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. So that is why I am working on patience and praying for that. All right, for the to-do list, I do have a parent request that I need to respond to. I also need to pack all of my school bags up for my first day back um, officially at work for registration tomorrow. I also need to do some YouTube edits. As I said over here, I need to prep my office space. I will also need to get the Taekwondo bag ready for my husband so he can just grab it and go. And I might stop at a local store. I am revamping the kitchen table and I wanted some new decor for that. All right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap up my Wednesday plans. It looks like quite a busy day and manipulating schedules to get everyone where they need to be, which is pretty typical. Um, substantial to-do list. That's quite a few for me and definitely want to make sure that as I head in back to school season, like I said, I'm sticking with my habits that seem to have developed over the past couple of months. If you guys have questions about anything, the planner, the planner Kate stickers, let me know and I'd be happy to answer. See you guys. Have a great day.